Okay, in this video, I'm just going to run through the rest of the questions and I'll encourage you to press pause and think about it. But I just want to guide you through all, all the rest of the questions for this um, for, for this uh, autism graph and, and equation okay, and table. Okay, so uh, this question is, give one year that shows a larger number of people with autism than would be expected from the trend line. Well, the trend line is this approximated um, straight line that does its best to um, give give like in between uh, numbers and make predictions for the future. So so making predictions for the future is uh, the it's just like the extrapolation we did, a similar thing, and um, trying to trying to guess numbers in between is interpolation, very similar to interpolation, right? Um, only this trend line is actually better because because it takes all of the data that we have and it, it makes the best this best fit line okay for all of the data so so anyway um so give one year that shows a larger number of people with autism than would be expected from the trend line well all we're looking for is blue dots that are above the line that's it okay so there are two you might see one here at 14 and one here at zero. Okay. Now the question though it says give one year. Okay. So what does um so what we have to remember is you know when t equals zero or let me just say yeah, when t equals zero what does that mean? And when t equals fourteen what does that mean? Right? Because we can't just put in zero or fourteen because those are not years. Well what years do those correspond to, right? So t equals zero corresponds to what year? That's the year 1995, isn't it? Because it's zero years since 1995. It is 1995, right? T equals 14 corresponds to what? That's the year 2009. If you add 14 to 1995, you get 2009, don't you? So there's two options, okay? So it says give one year that shows a larger number of people with autism than would be expected from the line. You can either type in 1995 or you can type in 2009. Either one of those will be correct. Okay, and it says enter four digits for the year. Right. Okay, so question 12. Uh, press pause and see if you can do this one now yourself. So like give one year that shows a smaller number of people with autism than would be expected from the trend line. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'll go over it now. So we've got two blue dots that are below the line, one at six and one at 12. What do those correspond to? When T is six, we have the year what? That's six years after 1995, so that is what year? Is that 2001? Yep. And this other little year here, t equals 12. How many years after 1995 is that? That's the year 2007, isn't it? Because it's 12 years after 1995. So here we can put in 2001 or 2007. Either one are correct, right? Now, 13, when using the formula for the trend line, what should you plug in for T? The exact year, 1997, or the number of years since 1995, e.g. for 1997, plug in 2. What do you think? Well, T is literally the year, the time in years since 95. So we won't be plugging in, like, the number 2 for 97, or the number 10 for 2005, right? So this answer is this, okay, the number of years since 95. Okay, now we'll go on to this question. Use the trend line formula to predict the number of people per thousand with autism in 2010. Okay, see if we can do that. So use the trend line formula to predict the number of people per, per 10,000 with autism in 2010. Okay. So uh, 2010, by the way, is five years 
um, since 95. And I'm just going to use the, the graph for fun real quick. And if I go up, it's about 40. It's about 40 uh, from the graph, just looking at it. But we're asked to use the equation. And the equation is A equals 4.8T um, plus 16, right? And the year... Oh, sorry. 2010, right? Sorry, I was thinking about 2000. Silly me. 2010... 2010 is 15 years, sorry, since 1995. So it's when t is 15, and so I go up, and it's about 90, actually. About 90 people per 10,000. Okay, so a needs to equal 4.8 times um, 15, right? Because 2010, I'll just write this out. Uh, 2010 is... Uh, 2010, sorry, minus uh, 1995 is 15, right? So that times 15 plus 16, plug that into calculator and see what we get. Uh, 4.8 times 15 plus 16, 88, okay? So from the graph, I'm seeing it's about 90. And I plug the calculate into the calculator to get 88, even more accurate, that's great. Put that in there. Okay, but who knows what was, because we don't have exact data on that. It could be above or below that, but that's just an, an, a, a guess, right? Um, okay, and now use the trend line formula to predict the number of people per 10,000 with autism in 2020. So press pause and do that, the exact same steps as before. Okay, press pause and try it yourself, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm doing it now. So I'm going 2020 20 minus 1995, and I'm getting 25. Okay, and then I plug this into my formula. And what should I get? So 4.8 times 25 plus 16. 136. 136 people per 10,000 in the year 2020. It's going up a lot, isn't it? Because the, the data points we have are actually real. And they're real life, believe it or not. So pretty scary with the autism rise, isn't it? So um, so there's that. Um, and can we even see that on the graph? No, because our graph goes up to 20 and 25 is like over here. And so it doesn't go extend that far, right? Um, so, and of course, this is just predictions, and so like it's 2020 now, so we should just look Google that, right? Determine the slope of the trend line. Recall that if a linear equation is y equals mx plus b, the slope is m. So what do you think the slope is for this trend line? What do you think? The slope is 4.8. It's that number there in front of the in front of the input uh, variable, right? So it's 4.8, and it means that for every every year, there's 4.8 more autism cases per 10,000 people each year, right? After 1995, okay? That's what it means. Explain in practical terms the meaning of the slope. Whoops, I just explained it. Which one is the correct answer here, you guys? Now, well, each year on average, 4.8 more people per 10,000 are diagnosed with autism. Okay, that's the answer there. All right.